Alright guys, welcome to Five Nights at Villagers. I actually was on Daco's video for this, and I was like, oh my god, I want this game because it looks so cool. And the guy actually just sent me a copy, so uh, here it is. This is the beta, so I mean, don't expect anything, you know, too fantastic yet. Okay, I say yet because, you know, he's going to improve on it. So it says, help wanted new pizza in town with characters that were previously murderers, wait, previously murderers of the company. Now they were given new life. They now sing to the children for them to have a fun and happy time at Villager's Pizzeria. Security guards were hired to watch the characters and make sure nothing goes wrong from 12 p.m. to 6 a.m. <laughs> what? Wait, did I read that right? Previously murderers of the company, now they were given new life. What? Who would hire them? <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, um, this is one of those games where it, it, it's kind of weird because it zooms in on the game and it like... I don't know, it's really hard to record it, so it might look a little bit blurry, I don't know. I tried my best to uh, get it figured out here, but I don't really know. Hopefully it does look good. Alright, so what is this? I see the clock, but nothing's happening. Oh, there it is. Alright, so now we are in the game. Alright, so night one, which the one is up there, I don't know. I think I, I might have done something wrong here with the whole um, settings in the game, but here we are, so... This is the show stage with the villager and the characters from Animal Crossing. I don't know their names, I'm sorry. I've played since the original one, but I just don't know their names. I know. I'm so bad. Oh, look, there's Balloon Boy. Okay, so, like I read on Daco's video, that's supposed to be, you know, linked in with the whole, um, fetching video. The audio works, though. Oh, okay, okay, so that's just one of those cameras. Um, the villager's in there because, whoa, he's gone. Um, you know, everyone always made fun of... Our balloon boy, they always made fun of him looking like villager and stuff like that, you know, because they're creepy looking kids, you know, and they both kind of look alike. So I think kind of Scott did take inspiration from that, but I don't really know. So, hi, Master Max. Who's Master Max? Maybe that's like the creator of the game. I don't know. But here it is, guys. And, uh, you know, obviously, like I said before, this is a work in progress. What is this? Okay. What is. Wait, what does that do? What does this do? It looks like. Oh, I'm hiding. Okay, I get it now. I can see that. I'm, like, hiding under the desk. All right, that's creepy. Um, one thing that I don't like, though, is it looks really creepy. Like, I wish the floors and the walls, you know, a little bit more bright and less scary. But I know that's what he's... Whoa, okay. Um, Bloom Boy's there. I know he's going for that, you know, whole scary whole scary atmosphere and stuff like that. But that's... This just creeps me out, man. I really wish there was, like, some... The carpet was, like, a different color or something like that. Now we're already at 2 a.m. All right, we're doing good. Okay, so... How do we know? Wait a second. Bloom Boy's gone. How do we um see if they're out there though? I guess I just wait, and if they're there, I go under. Okay. Whatever. We got this. So there's Villager. He's off the stage. Bloom Boy's back where he's supposed to be, which is good. At least there's no turning off the power now. He can't like turn off my desk, so I can't hide under it. So that's good. What the heck is Villager doing? He's <laughs> he's just really close to the camera. All right, buddy, back off a little bit. Come on. Plushies for sale. Oh, I'd totally buy those. There doesn't seem to be much going on in this actual place, though. I didn't... Did it say it was a pizzeria? No. I think it's just a... I think it's just like a... You know, where they dance and stuff like that? Like a... I didn't... It's a, it says show stage, so it's gotta be some sort of entertainment. Wait, I should probably check. Okay. It's gotta be some sort of entertainment place, so... My thing is, it's a little empty in here. <laughs> Obviously, though, this is the beta, guys, so it's not gonna be anywhere near completed, so... We can always tell him... If you guys have anything you wanna tell him, tell him in the comment section down below. I'm sure he'll read through them. All right, there's Villager right there. We yeah, have some, like, furniture and stuff like that. That'd be really nice. You know, just to make it feel less creepy. Because, like, having it look so empty like this, it's so creepy. Okay, villagers still there. Bloom Boy and villagers seem to be the only ones. I don't know if these two actually move, to be honest. I, you'd figure they would. But it is called Five Nights at Villagers. But it, in the in the introduction, it did say that um, there are multiple killers. So, I'm going to take you guys and say that these two do move. And uh, that's going to be quite the problem. But other than that, though, I mean so far it's pretty good because one thing i do like is i can actually check from camera to camera and actually look around most games you can't actually do that because you're so focused on being attacked but maybe that's just because we're on night one and i'm also hoping that there's some sort of secret on this camera because that's like my new favorite thing in these fan games is going on this and then there's like some sort of secret that appears it happened in finance at warios it happened in one night at flumpties which was my favorite one just like have some sort of secret appear there it'd be awesome all right, Villager and Bloom Boy. I think it's mostly just slow right now just because we're on night one. I wonder what these are, though. These little buttons here. Like, it's for the fan, I obviously, but what the heck do they do? I feel like I can click them and, like, some sort of secret will happen. 
And I like this too, how you can like hide under there. Like it's a little hard to figure out what you're doing at first, but once you actually figure it out, it's pretty awesome. All right, it's a pretty cool idea. Even though I don't know how they wouldn't see you if you're hiding under your desk, but whatever, man, I'm not a game creator. Not a game designer. What the heck? Okay, so yeah, I think it's just because we're on night one that we're not being attacked, but night two, that's when things are gonna get serious, hopefully. Let's see. I think one thing he should add in though, and usually I wouldn't like this though, but just like some sort of music box or something to keep something out. Because right now it is a little slow, but like I said multiple times, I think it's just because we're on night one, but we'll see. The heck? What is that down there? Is that the floor? Down there? Why is it down there? Alright, 5.59 a.m. It's not even 6 a.m. Or is it going to show it? There it is. Oh no, the alarm clock. I hate that sound. Reminds me of school. Hate school. <laughs> there we go, though. Oh, that's it. All right, congratulations. You beat them demo. The full version might be coming out in May. I know I said March in the announcement. Since I have such an old and retired computer, it's hard to develop games. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Plush Foxy. So that's the creator of the game right there, Plush Foxy. And um, that's the game. I mean, obviously, you heard it right here. It should be coming out in May, which obviously isn't that far. Um, and I'm pretty excited for it. I definitely want to see... You know, the other night, I want to see what other characters there might be. I want to see the map change, the the whole place change. And, um, you know, I can definitely see it's going pretty far. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.